Hello, I'm Dr. Simone Arfena and I'm a senior consultant here at Zeta West Clinic and uh, today I would like to talk to you about uh, PCOS which is one of my many areas of expertise. When our patients find out to have polycystic ovary, normally they are quite concerned about that. These are some of the questions uh, commonly asked here at the Zeta West Clinic. The first question I always get asked is uh, will I ever be able to get pregnant? So my answer to this question is generally yes because uh, the polycystic ovary is a treatable condition. So the second question is uh, do I need to have IVF? In most of the cases the answer is no. You don't need to have IVF is polycystic ovary is your only condition. Of course uh, a full assessment of the couple is needed to answer this question but uh, most of the patients are able to conceive naturally after a diagnosis of polycystic ovary. Another frequently asked question is uh, how my polycystic ovary condition can affect my fertility, so what's the mechanism? Uh, usually the mechanism is that uh, a polycystic condition, particularly when it's uh, very severe, can uh, affect ovulation in the sense that most of these women are not able to ovulate naturally. So the polycystic ovary can also affect the regularity of the cycle. So it can be particularly difficult for a woman to detect her fertile phase. People ask me how do I treat my polycystic ovary? So a very simple and uh, effective treatment uh, uh, which is able to re-establish a normal cycle in at least 50% of the cases has been proven to be inositol. When inositol fails to restore uh, a natural ovulation, we might decide to use uh, some uh, drugs to implement the patient ovulation. And uh, the best drug in this condition is the Clomid. Another frequently asked question is uh, how my PCO can affect the outcome of my IVF. The answer to that question is that uh, normally we have uh, the same good results with PCOS patients that we have in all the other patients not suffering from this condition. The only additional risk uh, for these patients compared to patients who do not have this condition is hyperstimulation as a result of the IVF process. In this particular group of patients we usually start with smaller dosages of stimulation and we carefully monitor this patient throughout the whole cycle. By doing this, we normally achieve a very, very good control on the hyperstimulation syndrome with very good results in terms of pregnancy rate. This is one of the areas of my expertise and uh, I have a great deal of pleasure in treating PCOs and I have to say that the results are really, really excellent.